I'm Lauren Weyerman, and I am from Cape Coral, Florida. I've been doing nails now since uh, 2009, so almost 10 years. The experience of doing a nail pro shoot is like no other. It is so surreal to come into this place and do these nails. It is a little bit overwhelming, but it's so much fun, and it's so fun seeing it progress into what it becomes. I used a lot of techniques for the nails today. A lot of hand painting, some scoop marbling, where you make basically a pile of gel and scoop it up and then slither it down the nail. I did a little bit of dimensional art that includes some shading, which is what makes the nail look almost like an optical illusion when you look at it. We did some piercings with some dangly, bohemian-looking feathers and tassels and really, it, it represents my style a lot. I'm kind of all over the place. I like to mix it up with a little bit of everything when I do nail art. And the most popular technique right now is that rose, that rose that looks like it's encased down into the nail, when in reality it's totally flat. Um, it's a combination of using sort of a gray gel mixture and then deciding where to put that highlight, either on the inside to make the petals look like they're curling in or on the outside to make the petals going out or an any outie where it's kind of swirling through and then coating that with the colored glass gel. My favorite nail that I did today was the middle finger that actually held the tassel that, that dripped down from the finger because it was a total screw up. Um, I love when I screw up on a nail, turning it into something and just totally uh, going off the top of my head and making it into something beautiful. So it started as what was supposed to be a blue nail and then we swish swatched everything around and then it was supposed to be a white nail and I thought, well, I'll put the white over the blue and just cover it up and I did that and it was all chunky and I was like crap let me file it so I filed through it and it made this gorgeous shabby chic looking scratchy blue and we all sort of sat there and we were like that's really cool let's just go with it and I dragged a little bit of the um, pink glass gel down it and then hand painted a little uh, henna pierced it and then put that dangly um, tassel thing coming from it and I just that was my favorite by far. I ended up in the nail industry because I was completely homeless and addicted to uh, heroin and crack cocaine and ended up in a homeless shelter and they were like, give your life to Jesus. And I was like, what? And then I was like, maybe I'll be like Sister Act. Uh, I could be like a really cool nun. And, and so I thought I'd try it. And in doing that, like learning how to surrender every area of your life to God, um, when it came to the career area, I didn't know what to do. I had my hair license, didn't like nails, ended up, of course, the only door that opened was a salon. And I ended up there and the girl was like, you should really let me teach you how to do manicures. And I didn't want to, but I let her talk me into it. And that was how I started um, just doing manicures. Um, I married a pastor, which is even funnier. Uh, we moved and pastored a church in Florida. And when I was down in Florida, I noticed that nails are so artistic down there. Even 10 years ago, they were so much more artistic than I'd ever seen. And the artists in me, I have a background in art, um, the artists in me was so drawn to nails at that point and I was just determined and I just fell in love. I fell in love with the art of nails.
My best advice that I can give to a new professional entering the industry is to learn how to do a good solid nail. Learn how to do a good solid shape and structure because you can do nail art all day, but if you can't make a good foundation for that art to go on, it's gonna pop off in two days and it's gonna be sad. So learn your shape and structure uh, and really, really get that down into your head and then build from there. It's hard to restrain, um, especially when you're artistic. All you wanna do is nail art, but it's so important to have a foundation.